like there's always something that's happening. He says it's illegal for us as Swiss people to come here. <laughs> So why wake up so early to food prep and not to eat on the spot? Oh, you can hear the coffee. Um, because... There, because I want to test out the food jars we have. Uh, the one from Stanley, the new one and my old one. So I'm, I'm going to prepare some hot pastas for the children for them to eat at midday. Like this, I will be able to compare them, um, and I don't want to spend too much time cooking when we are just relaxing in this evening. So I decided I'm gonna prepare some burgers. Yeah, so just prepare the meat, and like this, we will just need to cook this evening the meat, and that's all. Okay, so. Let's do it. I'm clearly not a chef, so what you see here is really the most easy way to do it. I'm gonna let the meat rest a little bit and drink my tea for the moment. The sun is rising, well, there's not no sun for the moment, but it's supposed to be a nice day today and this weekend all together, so I hope we will be lucky. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna cook some pastas for the children and put them in the two food jars to see which one will be the hotter at midday. Now if you have never used food jars before so to keep everything hotter longer you do have to put boiling water in it or I've put some to heat the food jar before putting the food in it. Everything is hot. I'm gonna take out the water. It's still steaming. And put the pasta, the hot pasta, in the food jars. I did heat up again the pasta to be sure they are really hot. And now we're gonna see if. <laughs> Those two huge plates go inside these food jars. This one will be for my son because this food jar is like 50 ml, a little bit bigger in capacity. <laughs> I want to add this in capacity than this one. They are almost the same capacity. This one is uh, 500 millimeters milliliters and this one is 450 milliliters. Yeah, fill it up. 
whole plate in it. <laughs> gonna stop there. Okay. There we go. So it's quarter past eight almost and I hope the kids will eat about at about half past twelve so we'll see if this Amazon one or this Stanley one is better, but I think this one will be the winner. Okay, I'm preparing the next. It will be for the kids' breakfast tomorrow, maybe us too. So I saw a pack and it's to prepare pancake and paste and not paste, I don't know the name pancake liquid <laughs> and put it in like ketchup uh, bottle like this in the morning when you're cooking you just need to squeeze it in the pan so we're gonna test it and see how it works tomorrow morning Okay, I'm done with the food prep, so this will be kids meal with the hot pasta, I hope. This will be for tonight, burgers, and I didn't put here some potatoes. And this will be for tomorrow morning, some pancakes. Well, we call it pancakes, but in fact it won't be American pancakes, but crepe. There you go, looking forward to eating all that. <laughs> Is it hot? Ched. So let's test out. You have your spoon. Yes. So is it hot? It's twelve thirty. Half past twelve. So I packed it up four hours ago. That can we try. It's hot. Moyen. Tu peux goûter? Mais juste pour voir. S'il te plaît, juste une fois pour voir. Une fois. Une fois. Sérieux. Okay, this is this isn't hot. She says warm. For me, it's cold. It's really not hot. 
Let me try. Wait. Go and sit down. You're gonna try. And this one. Mmm. It's warmer. So the winner is Stanley. Okay, so we finished eating our meal, and so as I said before, the winner is. Stanley so this one is way more efficient than the one we bought on Amazon so if you are looking for a nice food jar that keeps your meal warm for about four hours Stanley is the brand to go for after food prepping in the morning driving almost two hours to reach the French Alps because of road work and enjoying a sunny lunch we were finally going off track with our friend. It takes some time to food prep, but it's part of the adventure. I don't always food prep, but this enables me to chill around the fire with our friends a little longer than usual. We were in Abondance region and started with this track. As always, being in the mountains, the scenery is very enjoyable. Fall is slowly showing its colors, but we still might have to wait a little for the more vibrant ones. Parts of this track were quite steep and paved with small to medium rocks. As we were exploring without any plans, we quickly arrived at the top of a tiny hamlet. We couldn't go further with the 4x4s, so we took the same road down. On our way down, we noticed the defender was making a weird clunking noise when turning the wheels. We tried to spot out from where it was coming, but without any success. So it seems like there's always something that's happening. So we are stopped with this defender because we went uh, from the place we were before. We went all the way up there somewhere and we couldn't go further so we had to go all back down but the defender is making a weird noise when we are turning the wheels so we are trying to find what's the issue Taking another road, we stumbled upon a blocked one. We then finally started to analyze the region and the possible tracks with our GPS, which was a better solution and successful. There we go, enjoying the French Alps in Abondance region with our four wheels drive.
Late this afternoon, we shared those tracks with hikers, motocross bikes and quads. Not much difficulties, but amazing scenes. It's the end of the day and we're gonna stop here for the night with our friends. So we are preparing a fire for cooking, obviously. So really looking forward to eat the burgers. Tu me passes un bout, papa Quoi Ça fait le faire son bout. C'est bon Oh, il a l'air bon, t'as bien. Ouais. Ça a du goût So coffee is boiling, it's the morning, we came, we didn't sleep here on the top of the mountain, we were a bit further down and we were in the shade so we decided to go up the mountain. Um, this morning we saw some hunters again with the dogs and dogs barking and we heard some gunshots so we also thought it was better to be on top of the mountain less trees and enjoy our morning coffee. We're gonna cook the <laughs> pancakes for the children. Arrête de te moquer de moi! On entendra rien! Bien sûr, mon micro il est top! <laughs> there, so just getting ready in the morning and gonna enjoy the coffee and the pancakes. First time drinking the coffee in the Stanley mugs. Bon. So, look, this is so cool. We can hold them like this, absolutely not hot, but I'm wondering if I'm gonna burn myself. I don't think so. It's not hot here. And the, co the coffee is burning hot, so I'm really happy. This is really not hot, like you can drink something burning hot without burning your lips. I didn't find in any videos people saying that this wasn't hot and I, I was looking for this info and I know some people just buy something on, in silicone and put it here so they don't burn their lips when drinking a coffee in their camp mug. But with this Stanley Kent mug, you can just drink like this. Burning hot coffee or tea. So you should go on the website and buy these camp mugs. Okay, so what happened there is that the hunters weren't happy we were there. Mm -hmm. This guy expressed his disapproval of having Swiss four-wheelers and drawing French tracks. This is the very short version, of course, but there's no reason to spend more time explaining the discussion. It doesn't happen often. Only once in a while we get bugged by someone who's blocked in his opinion. Can't do much about it. Just make sure we don't put ourselves and the kid in a critical position. Would love to know what you would do in this kind of situation. Let me know in the comments below.
Non, ça sortit vers le pylône, sous le pylône, et puis il va mettre dans la forêt en haut. Là. Ah bah heureusement qu'on faisait du bruit. Quoi. Putain. Mmh. <rire> So, kind of hunter who's screaming in the radio, and he says it's illegal for us as Swiss people to come here uh, in the mountains with our 4x4. Okay, we're gonna try and test out this. So, pancake in there. I hope it hasn't uh, taken the taste of ketchup. It smelled a bit like ketchup when I put put it inside yesterday, but. I think it will be okay. Ça Ah, ça sent le ketchup hein, quand même. Je peux sortir. Ça va, le goût de ketchup. Attention. Ah, très bizarre. Great, the pancakes in the morning. Well, it's not really the morning. Yes, it's still about 11 o'clock now. So I think we will have to do it again with the kids. They enjoyed it a lot. So might be something we will do regularly now. Unfortunately, because of the small argument and not willing to create more problems, we decided to end the weekend there with a belly full of pancakes and drove back home admiring the slight touch of autumn colors on beautiful nature. <laughs>